Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I may not look it, but at least according to Wikipedia, I am 35 years old. 35! <clears throat> Which means I grew up with speaking spells and Merlin and uh, Atari 2600s. You know, consumer electronics. Even though that's not what they were called back then. They were just toys, right? Well, now I surround myself with toys. And you know, there are people who are my age who don't really do anything online. They don't really care about gadgets and gizmos. Uh, not everybody's a geek, but people who are half my age would be ostracized if they weren't on social networks like Facebook, if they didn't have a mobile device of some kind. You know, they would just stick out like a sore thumb. That was me when I was here. I stuck out like a sore thumb because I was the only one who carried that stuff around. When I was in high school, Sharp had this product called the Wizard. I still have my Wizard somewhere, by the way. And it was this, uh, 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 it was like a PDA of sorts. It predated uh, the Palm, uh, and it was a, there was a touch screen on it. Uh, there was a, you know, some touch area, and it was an LCD screen, and it had a full key. Where it was just amazing. Look it up, the Sharp Wizard. I still have it somewhere. I know I do. Um, sorry, I just totally went off on a tangent there. What I'm saying is that we are now living in a digital age, the information age. And I've been online since 1992. Now, I've been working professionally for 12 years. But if you take 2009 minus 1992, well, then you'd get your number of how many years I've actually been online. It's been a long time. It is my life. Obviously, I live my life online. I got the chat room part of the live video feed live.perilla.com, blah, blah, blah. Got an email here. My name is Chris Bateson. Me and a group of students are taking in the course Digital Culture at Berkeley City College. The English major in me obviously realizes that you're not taking an English course yet because you would want to state that a group of students and I are taking. You may be familiar with our instructor, Joni Farley Gillespie, PhD, unfortunately I'm not, who has done a lot of work in this area. This semester, we have been exploring digital culture and how it is changing every arena of human experience. For our final project, we are going to create a website devoted to digital culture and its influence. Dude, you put an apostrophe in there. It's, it's when it's, you, it's possessive. You don't use the apostrophe there. One component of that site will feature various people's thoughts on what digital culture means to them. Would you be willing to participate? If so, the single question is this. How would you define digital culture and what does it mean to you? Feel free to respond at any length you like. The resulting information will be posted online and may be linked to the Berkeley City College website, among others. Well, I'm sure that correcting your grammar has probably eliminated any possibility of this getting linked to. <clears throat> if you're willing to participate, then please send your opinion as video or email to us ASAP. We appreciate your taking the time to read this and would very much value your participation. Well, Chris, I would be happy to respond. Like I said, man, I, I was an English teacher. That was my major. That's what I got a degree in. So I, I could not, you know, let those things slip. That being said, I think um, digital culture is pervasive technology. And what I mean by that is just assuming a solution is going to be there. Back in the days of dial-up, uh, when I would travel, uh, if I was lucky enough to have a portable computer, because those were really expensive back in the day, I would have to, you know, carry with me some kind of cable or potentially use the hotel's cable, you know, a telephone cable. Um, and then dial into the internet and then potentially even pay uh, for the time that I was using that line. These days, we kind of take it for granted. You go to a hotel, you just assume internet's going to be there, right? Whether it's wireless or wired, it's going to be there. You, you may have a mobile device. You just expect you're going to be able to get online. It's just, it's a given, right? You just know it's there. I mean, it's, it's like, could you sit in front of a computer today and use it if it did not have an internet connection? You could. Oh, you could. But really, what would you do? I mean, you, you could play with desktop software and whatnot, but the internet unlocks so many experiences. And it's just there. It's pervasive, right? I mean, I've pulled into gas stations these days only to realize that the credit card sl uh, uh, a slider wasn't there or it didn't work and I'd have to go inside and I've driven to other uh, stations.
eh, nearby. That's just so much more convenient. I don't need to interact with a human being when it comes to that kind of transaction. I'm spoiled. It's pervasive. You just assume it's there. And it actually helps with the flow of things. Imagine not having email. Imagine knowing someone who doesn't have email or doesn't use it, never responds, doesn't get it. It's frustrating because you get it. You've grown up with it, potentially. I mean, if you're that age and you're in college. I'm assuming you're younger than me. That's just an assumption. I may be wrong because non-traditional students are, you know, just as, you know, involved in the educational process. So when I think of digital culture, I think it's, it's a part of ourselves and by extension society. And I hope that is a clear definition of digital culture. It, what it means to me is uh, a step in mental evolution, social responsibility. Uh, the phrase that I coined, because I had no other way of doing it, um, you know, trying to explain the idea that uh, technology connects us as humans. I've said it's a human circuitry. And our conference, Gnomedex, uses this currently as, um, you know, uh, the term to explain what it is that technology is doing for us. It's not just there, right? It's doing something for us. And we are now becoming more aware of how technology can be used throughout the world. Enabling experiences, sure, but giving us a social responsibility. You know, we, in the 80s, it was all about me, me, me. Well, the internet these days and the idea of social media, it's, it's kind of about you and me. And to think that someone on a completely different content, uh, content, completely different continent, God, let me try it again. Someone on a completely different continent could send me a message and I would receive it seconds later, I think it's, it's just amazing. It's, it's, still, it's still as amazing me today as it was back then. So this is giving rise to a different kind of relationship. It's why I, I don't mind it when I say I spend a lot of time online. This is my connectivity. I mean, I've you know loved doing what it is that I've been doing for the past 12 years professionally, I can think of doing nothing else. I connect with so many people, real people, and that's validating. And it's those types of connections that have helped me understand my role, given me a, a feeling of social responsibility, being responsible for what I do, what I put out there, educating, helping, having fun, making a living. Uh, it's, uh, it's just there. It, I, I, I'm potentially taking it for granted, but now all these tools haven't necessarily changed me. They've unlocked me. That's digital culture, and it's very important. It's not going away anytime soon. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line with your own thoughts. Leave a video response, certainly. We'll extend the conversation. You're welcome to join uh, the rest of us tech enthusiasts at geeks.perillo.com. Also on Twitter, twitter.com slash Chris Perillo, youtube.com slash Locker Gnome. And of course, I've got a blog, chris.perillo.com. And this live video feed going out over the internet because I can do that. Doesn't cost me a thing. Wee! Gotta love free. Got the chat room integrated there. Not everybody does that. I do because I wanna. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.